In this movie, you create and apply materials to the light trails. Go to the Slate Material Editor and make sure you are in the Cycles view. Create a new AND material and name it LC Trail Blue. Choose the Math preset from the drop down list and then apply the material to the blue light cycle loft representing its trail. In order to map a loft, you need to activate mapping coordinates at the mesh level. Make sure the loft is selected and go to the Modify panel. In the Surface Parameters rollout, enable Apply Mapping. Here you can define how many times a map tiles itself along the length of the loft or around the cross section. To see it better, use a temporary bitmap as a diffuse map. For all intent and purposes, you can use the stadium logo image. Make sure Show Map in Viewport is active at the material level. Change the length repeat from 1 to 20 and notice the difference. Try it at 400 and notice the effect. The width repeat defines how many times the map tiles around the cross section in what is mostly a cylindrical process. Since the cross section here is essentially a very thin rectangle, a value of 2 will map the image on both sides of the cycle trails. However, what we are interested in here is not a bitmap file, so go ahead and disconnect the image from the diffuse channel. In fact, delete the bitmap node altogether. What we need is a stylized effect of a light trail, basically two light streaks separated by a semi-transparent middle section. Attach a gradient tramp node as a diffuse color map. Instance the gradient to the self-illumination map. Double-click the gradient tramp node to view its properties. You need to edit the gradient to show two streaks of blue at the top and bottom ends of the trail. Set the gradient to have four flags with the middle ones at about positions 25 and 80 respectively. You can always change these values later if you need to. Set the two middle flags to a black color. And the two outer flags to a blue color that you like. Adjust the position of the middle flags if you need to. At the material level, enable the Glow option and set the luminance value to about 2. Test render the scene. The parallel blue beam look decent, but the center section needs to be more transparent. In the Slate Material Editor, Select the gradient ramp and all its children nodes. Shift move the selection to make a copy. Connect the new gradient map node to the material's cutout map channel. Double click the cutout map gradient to edit its properties. Make the blue flags fully white to make that section of the trail opaque. At this point, the middle section being black is fully transparent. You may want to tone down a bit to make it semi-transparent. Make the middle flags a dull gray instead of full black, using a value of 25 to 30. Test render the scene again. This looks much better. To map the second trail, that of the yellow light cycle, it is now a fairly easy task. Select the second loft and in the Modify panel enable Apply Mapping. As you did earlier, set the length repeat to 400 and the width repeat to 2. In the Material Editor, select all the nodes that make the blue light trail material and shift move them to make a copy. Double click the new material node and rename it LC Trail Yellow. 
Before you apply it to the second loft, change the gradient's blue color to a yellow or bright orange that you like. In the next movie, you make the blue light cycle disintegrate as it hits the yellow light trail.